Sophomores, I am here to talk to you about signing up for classes for next year when you are going to be a junior here at RTHS. The sophomore year is probably the most complicated year uh, in which to talk about registration because you have so many options. With that thought in mind, we ask that you're going to watch this video. We ask that you watch Mr. Wise's video and then there's going to be an attached video on top of that for all of the KEC programs that we would ask that you watch that as well. With all of that information, then we're going to sit down and talk about what classes you should take for next year. Yes, we want you to do some, some pre-work basically. We want you to make some selections in Skyward. Then you will meet individually with your counselor. We're not losing that step by any means. So you will have that time to sit down and talk and think about all of the options open to you. A couple of things to think about. There are some required classes for juniors. Number one, you will have to take a year of English. Um, they're semester long classes, so you'll be looking for which literature class and which writing class do you want to take as a junior. You'll need a year of math, so whichever you were in this year, you would just continue that next year. For those of you who as sophomores were in geometry, you're moving to Algebra 2. If you were in Algebra 2 as a sophomore, you're going to be moving to Pre-Calculus or Honors Pre-Calculus next year as a junior. You'll need social studies. So you're either going to be taking U.S. History 1, U.S. History 2, two separate classes, but they'll take the entire year, or AP U.S. History. One of those two um, levels of history will be required. And then you will need a year of PE. Yes, the waiver will still be in place for those of you who are in a sport or activity, and you can talk to your counselor about which semester you would be able to waive if you want to waive PE for next year. Those are the four required areas for sophomores. Here's where things get complicated. For those of you who are planning on going on to a four-year school, you need to add another year of science, you need to add perhaps another year of either foreign language, music, or art. So that's the track for those people who are going on to a four-year four college. For those people who are thinking more of the vocational route, that's where that video that I had talked about from KEC comes in. At the KEC program, we have approximately 15 different programs that are open to you as a junior and as a senior. If you would like to take one of those classes, they're exceptional. They're very, very good programs. I guess the downside to those programs is it takes time away from your classes here at RTHS. So with a typical seven period day, as you know, our normal day, um, if you were in the KEC program, you would be using three periods a day for that KEC program. So you might be gone in the morning, periods one, two, three, or you might be gone in the afternoon, periods seven, eight, nine, ten. But that's gonna take up that amount of time. If you decide that's the program you want, fantastic. It will explain to you within their video how you go and sign up, which you do online for those programs. If you decide you want to take a KEC class, please understand that the commitment for those classes is for the entire year. You sign up for the entire year for those programs. Uh, there is a fee involved, but the school pays the fee, with the exception of cosmetology. Otherwise, there is no additional cost on your end as a student. As you're looking at what classes you want to take, please think about electives. Once again, I would suggest for everybody to do it with a piece of paper. Take out your piece of paper, number one through seven, first semester, second semester, like we've done in the past. Write down the classes you have to take. Think about whether you want KEC, and if so, take out that number of classes. Do you want a study hall? What other electives do you want to add? Please remember, five and a half credits is the minimum you need to be done with your junior year to move up to being a senior. A credit is what you earn per semester per class that you pass. Every class per semester is worth one half credit. So for example, for your math class, if you take it both semesters, it's worth an entire credit. You need five and a half credits to consider to be moved up to your senior year. Your maximum number of credits, if you were to take a class every period, is seven credits. So that's what you're working with. Yes, we will be offering summer school like normal. We'll have our classes to get ahead, um, government, speech, PE, etc. They'll be on the paper that you see at the end of this video. 
or we have our remedial summer school offerings as well, math, science, and English. Those would be if you happen to fail one of those classes, you could get caught up through one of those classes during the summer. One more time, let me say, your counselor will be getting in touch with you. You will meet with your counselor individually before the uh, courses that you've selected go into the system. This is the beginning. I know it sounds early, but it's that time of year where we start thinking about the next year. So you please watch all the videos. Please go listen to Mr. Wise's video about how to make your selections through Skyward. Then you'll meet with your counselor individually and we will put those in the system and we'll go from there. If you have any questions, yes, you can contact your counselor. However, we will be getting in touch with you. So you really don't have to contact us at this point. Okay, thank you much. We'll be in touch. Entering your course request for next year is done entirely in Skyward. To get started, log into your Skyward account. Once you're at your dashboard, you should see a green box for the next year's course requests. Go ahead and click on it. In the course request screen, the left column of the screen shows all of the available courses. The right column shows those courses that you're requesting for the next school year. You can see that the right hand side is currently empty and the total credits requested is currently at zero. You can scroll through the list on the left hand side or use the search box to find courses. Click to select the course you want to add in the left column and then click on the add arrow to move it to your requests. If you make a mistake, just select the course on the right column and click remove. Once you've finished selecting all of your courses, be sure to click the Submit Course Request link in the upper left corner. If you forget, all of your selections will be lost. If you'd like to edit your requests after you've submitted, you can. You have until the request window closes to make any changes. If you run into any problems with the course request process, please stop by the IT office in the Counseling Center for help.